as our mighty planet slowly spins, our own little world evolves a little faster with each passing moment. Time captures the soul, and this is one such story played out in the animal kingdom of fading glories and the bonds of the last lions left of a once great pride. I grew up in the wild and I was very drawn towards animals from a very, very, very young age. And I come from a land where we worship rivers, we worship trees, we worship animals. And Africa was always on my bucket list. Africa was one of those mysterious lands far, far away, which we wish and we dreamt we could make. And I come in search of a story that I was told about, about this big pride of lions that were once 18, but now reduced to just three. With my cameras ready and many questions, I set off. But lions are notoriously difficult to find. Old traces give us clue to where they had been, but not where they are now. If you look at this track over here, you can see that it's got a bit of a rounding on the edges here, so it's a bit of an older track. So is that, I would say, maybe late afternoon yesterday. And then if you look at some of the other tracks here forward, um, it's more of a sharper track, so um, indicating more earlier this morning type of a thing. We could actually get into that direction and try and find them again. We've been in search of the big cats since the wee hours of the morning. And though we've found fresh bug marks here and there and uh, tried to follow them, but they would just lead into the bush. And it's, this is what makes being in the wild far more exciting. And after hours of searching, there they were in all their glory. Mufasa the Alpha, a wise father and protector. His son Simba, a juvenile only four years old, but approaching his prime. The mother, Sundari, caregiver and the provider. I could immediately see the strong bond between these revered beasts. I wanted to know their story. By now, Simba should have left the pride, banished by his father. But all I could see was affection between father and son. A rare sight to see in the wilds of Africa. With the rain beating down upon them, I could also see they were growing hungry. Sundari, the last remaining lioness, is the bride's huntress. The male's role is to act as decoys, distracting the prey. For success, this lone pride must work together. Her task to feed herself and her family presses upon her. With the coming of a new day, there are new opportunities for this unlikely family. They must start again in spite of all they know and against all they know. An old zebra skull draws the pride's attention. Sundari leads. The boys follow behind. It's interesting how they're letting the female take the lead. But a skull does not a meal make. The movement catches her eye. Sundari is on the move. The boys get into position. In this uncommon family group, 
it is up to all of them to make a successful kill. Even Mufasa, in his wasted age, must help. The hunt is on. I can only sit and watch as the ruthless nature of the African savanna plays out in front of me. The laws of the wild dictate that one must die for others to live. This is how it has always been. And here, I see it in full. The withering Mufasa trails behind, arriving late. And his son makes way, allowing his father to feast. Mufasa shows his age by only being able to gnaw at the edges of the carcass. And even after all her hard work, Sundari is rewarded with snarls, the sacrifices of a mother. Soon will come a day when the alpha will fade and the young male will find his own ground. The fangs of fate spare no one. My time in Africa draws to an end. I reminisce of the days spent with these magnificent, majestic lions. I will leave with a renewed sense for these complex kings of Africa. When I return, I hope to discover new unwritten stories. Stories revealed as I watch these majestic creatures roam their wild African savannah. Thank you.